What is going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. You've reached Movie Watch Daily, your home for movie news, reviews, and home media happenings. My name is Justin and let's just kick it off, shall we? All right, here it is. We were gifted with a new trailer for The New Mutants. Well, a teaser trailer which dropped yesterday indicating that this movie will, if everything goes as planned, receive a theatrical release as opposed to being dumped on VOD as we previously had thought. Now, this movie was originally supposed to be released on April 18th ahead of the Disney-Fox merger after receiving its original trailer in October of 2017. So this has been over two years in the making that we have been waiting for this film. This movie has been caught in development hell. Soon after the first trailer was dropped, we got word that the studio wasn't happy with, happy with how the movie was going and they were going to have to do reshoots and all this stuff and the movie, we just didn't know if this movie was going to be released. Well, it looks like it's finally happening. Now, I just watched both the trailers, the original trailer and the one that dropped yesterday, which is really, like I said, just a teaser. The original trailer seemed to indicate a much more horror-driven New Mutants as opposed to the new trailer, which seems to be leaning really heavy into the superhero X-Men standard kind of Marvel movie that we're used to seeing. Now, after seeing this new trailer for New Mutants, I must say it looks awesome. It really looks like it takes the spectacle, the characters, the fantastical elements of the Avengers or other Marvel movies, but gives it a little bit more edge, as I really feel like Marvel works better when it doesn't play itself too safe. The cast is amazing. Anna Taylor-Joy's accent seems a little sketchy to me. We'll have to see how that pans out. Of course, you have Maisie Williams of Game of Thrones, the dude from Stranger Things. I forget his name, but the cast looks awesome. I love origin stories. The claustrophobic environment of this asylum or wherever they're keeping them really looks like a great location for the film as they all reach tensions to a boiling point trying to escape this place that they're held against their will at. And I really look forward to seeing where this movie goes. The effects look fantastic. Normally CGI, when you do have this much CGI in a movie, it can look a little sketchy, but it looks like they've done an amazing job with these special effects. So again, The New Mutants really gives a lot to look forward to. I really hope that we can meet this release date at the end of August. We'll just have to keep our fingers crossed. And that brings us to our next long-delayed movie, Christopher Nolan's Tenet. Tenet will be his most elaborate and expensive production to date, with a crew of over 250 people shot in seven different countries for a period of six to eight months, with an estimated budget of 200 to 225 million dollars, shot using a combination of 70 millimeter film and IMAX cameras. Now, even though this movie sports an astounding 280 individual CG effect shots, Nolan insisted on crashing an actual Boeing 747 for a crash sequence that's highlighted towards the end of the trailer. They're really highlighting what a spectacle this movie intends to be, which is why Nolan insists that it gets a theatrical release. When it comes to Nolan, he really is just one of a handful of true event and spectacle filmmakers. Tarantino, Scorsese, the director of Blade Runner 2029, I can never pronounce his name. These epic directors, often writer-directors, completely defy what summer blockbusters tend to mean. They challenge you to really sink into the story, immerse and wrap yourself into characters in the films that stick in your mind for weeks, months, or even years after watching them. Nolan truly is a rare talent, and very few filmmakers can command the collective attention of the public and entertainment industry for a new release quite like Nolan. The buzz around his project are discussed ad nauseum as people scour the internet and go back and forth on Reddit and other forums for even the smallest crumb of info, plot detail, or news from the production. Now, when it comes to the release of Tenet and the New Mutants, we do have tentative releases for August. Now, whether that actually ends up happening is really up in the air. If I had to guess, I will say both of these movies will be pushed back towards the end of the year, in the fall, or maybe even 2021. I just don't see these movies coming out this year, unfortunately. And with the size of the production, the delays, and the hassle that these studios and directors have gone through to make these movies, 
I don't see them dropping it on VOD either. So we can only hope that things get better in the world and then we can finally see these movies that we've been waiting for for so long. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. This is Movie Watch Daily. I am Justin and I will see you next time. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. I love watching them and I love making them.